Today, August 13, 2014, marks the 10-year anniversary of Hurricane Charlie. Charlie peaked as a Category 4 hurricane, causing $15 billion of damage, ranked to date as the 8th costliest Atlantic hurricane on record. Charlie passed over the Dry Tortugas at around 7 a.m. on August 13, with maximum winds near 110 miles per hour. By the time Charlie reached the Dry Tortugas, it came under the influence of an unseasonably strong trough that had dug from the east-central United States into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. In response to steering flow on the southeast side of this trough, the hurricane turned north-northeastward and accelerated toward the southwest coast of Florida, where it began to intensify rapidly. When Charlie hit Fort Jefferson and Dry Tortugas, it caused extensive flooding and damage to the park. This was due to strong incoming waves and an estimated six-foot storm surge. For the lower to mid-island chain, strong winds took down trees and power lines. One boat, knocked free from the strong seas, struck a power transmission line leading to the widespread power outages from Marathon to Key West. After leaving the Florida Keys, Charlie would move on to produce nine confirmed tornadoes the same day. Directly, Charlie was responsible for 15 deaths and indirectly 20, bringing the death toll total to 35 people. Because of Charlie's effects after the 2004 hurricane season, Charlie's name was retired. From your local Florida Keys National Weather Service, we thank you for watching. For the latest weather information, please visit www.weather.gov forward slash Key West. Also, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, join us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter.